Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video it's going to be a product review on the Huion Inspiroi Key Dial Drawing Tablet. Big shout out to Huion for sending this product through for me to try out and thank you for sponsoring. Now we're just going to go through and have a look at everything that comes in the box. Another cool feature to mention about this tablet is that it's wireless Bluetooth so you have the option to use it with a cord or you can use it wirelessly as well. Uh, just by looking at it we can see that it's a very premium product, it looks very well designed, uh, I love the shape of it, um, I mean it's no different than um, your own keyboard right? The great thing about this is it comes with a keyboard on the side and it seems to be um, majority of the short keys that you would need. We've got this little scrolly thing here which um, I'm assuming would be for zooming in and out. Uh, that would be the port there for the power. So I'm assuming that's where you would uh, connect your power source from your computer to your tablet. So yeah, it looks really good. It feels really nice. It's a really nice weight to it, so it would station really well. So next up would be the tablet drawing pen and the stand. So the pen here looks really nice, uh, very slick design, just like the other ones that I've reviewed. Uh, and it feels good. Uh, and here is the donut. I call it the donut. And that's where, obviously, you it's the pen holder, essentially. Now if you open it up, just let me open it. Uh, you will see all the extra nibs that it comes with, so you can just replace the nibs once the you know when it wears out. Uh, and there's plenty for you to use, so it'll last you a long, long time. And of course, you can always buy replacements. Now, the usual, my favorite, the glove always comes with uh, really nice gloves. Um, they act as basically your fiber cloths in a way, um, and it will give you like a really nice, smooth transition when you're drawing. And if you're like me, who often sweats because I hold my pen too tight, for example, uh, having the glove will prevent those issues um, of having sweat on your tablet. Now we've got the cable here. I think this is the only cable that it came with. Um, so this will be the power source cable, where you have one end, which is the Type-C that connects to your tablet, and then the other side that goes into the direct USB port of your computer. So nice and easy, no fuss, uh, no extra cords like you would with the display tablet. Let's move on to these uh, USB, little USB things. So this is where you would use these for the wireless function. You've got one end that connects to the computer and then the other end that connects to your tablet. Um, and obviously you will need to charge your tablet um, using the cord uh, in order to use the Bluetooth. Now we've got the little package here that tells you where to download the drivers. And that is pretty much all that's in the box. Nice and simple, so I can't see this being too hard to set up. So all in all, the tablet and the pen itself works really well together, they feel great together. And in terms of the physical aspect of this product, I really like the design. It looks great, you know, and it, and it feels great, and that's really important. Right, so uh, let's go ahead and connect this up with the computer. Um, there's only one option, I think, it's just plug in the cord. I uh, hope you don't struggle with that, because, I mean, what are you doing? All right. Just let me untangle that. I think there's some really nice length to this cord, so hopefully, you know, wherever your setup is, uh, it can very much reach. So as you can see here, the moment I plugged it in, a red light popped up, and that shows the battery icon. So I think it's charging. Okay, so I charged it for a bit. It's gone green. Green's always a good sign. Um, and I think I uh, realized that when you plug in the cord, you can use it as is, but also when it's green, um, that's more of an indicator for your Bluetooth and wireless function. So that's a good tip. Right, so we're just going to go test out some of the sensitivity and how well this tablet works. So I'm just going to bring out a brush, just any brush doesn't matter. As you can see here, the moment I'm, you know, drawing, whatever I'm drawing, is popping up immediately so there's no lag there's no jitter it just feels so smooth and on top of the texture of the tablet with that matte feel it just feels amazing like it's not slippery um, so I really like the matte feel to these tablets so you can go big small the pressure, pressure sensitivity works really well as well so that's another plus and you need that when you're drawing and when especially if you're doing line work um, and look at this you know you're applying different types of weight onto it and honestly, just from experiencing and trying out all that I have so far, I already think this is a really great quality tablet, especially for its price. Now let's talk a little bit about price. I'm just going to bring it up really quickly. So this is from their website. And I believe that this is $169 US dollars. 
Um, I'm in New Zealand right now, so going by New Zealand dollars, uh, oh, I don't know the calculation, maybe around 250 New Zealand dollars. So it's still very, very affordable. Now, if you're looking to get started, um, I think this is a very great um, investment to starting your drawing career. Uh, I started off with one of these, but I didn't even have the keyboard on the side. I started off with one of those little square ones. Slightly off topic, I'm about to use this button right here. So it is indeed a zooming in and out button, which is so cool. I love it. Okay, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, and I, I actually used one of the, um, these non-screen tablets, um, drawing tablets for quite some time before I invested in my very first display tablet. Um, and it's all about getting, getting used to whichever product you have, you know? So obviously when I just had the drawing tablet, the little square one, um, I got used to it and I got really good at it and it felt very natural. So I'm just playing with the short keys on the keyboard here. Um, it's, you know, the whole command Z and everything is already set up there. Uh, so I'm just using it as is. I haven't made any adjustments to it whatsoever. So, you know, there's a lot of short keys in there that's already built in um, with, you know, digital artwork in mind. So if budget is a problem, um, I think this is a very great tablet for you to look into. Now I'm just going to play a time lapse of the artwork that I created using this tablet um, and I'll still talk a little bit more but then I'll, I'll just finish off with the time lapse itself. So yeah, if budget really is an issue for you but you really want to get started in digital drawing, um, I highly recommend you take a look at one of these tablets here. Uh, they, they work really well, it won't break the bank, you know, so it's very affordable and you know I always say it doesn't matter what tools you have um, because it's a matter of getting used to. You know, whatever tools you have, it's about getting used to it to become good at it. And it's about, you know, it's like that with everything in life. You know, anything is always hard when you start off and you're new to, right? But it's about the time and, you know, the investment in time in putting into it. And you get better, naturally. So, you know, I hope this video really helps you in helping you decide your first tablet or maybe just getting an additional tablet. I think I've pretty much covered everything um, that this tablet comes with. Um, oh, and regarding the Bluetooth, I actually plugged it in and there was actually no difference um, in terms of the way that the drawing responds. So it works really well in Bluetooth as well as it does um, wired up. So that, you know, that's really good because sometimes you might expect that the Bluetooth um, might perhaps jitter a little bit, but that's not the case. It works really well. Now I'm just going to let the video ride out um, until the end and it will just be the time lapse of this um, artwork that I'm doing right now. And just want to give another big massive thank you to Huion for sponsoring this video by supplying the product. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it really um, helpful. You can keep up to date on my Instagram with all the latest news and uh, posts. And the, the product link for this uh, product here will be in the descriptions below.